I really be on that, really be on facts, really be on street talk, but I come back, really be on that. That, 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 let's get money because we go black. But they look at me crazy, label me lazy, blame the drug game, harsh ever from the 80s. I was just a baby. Now a man trying to get money just like a baby. Better yet, shady, slim, who him? Jamal, K, that's him. But I thought that that's K Jamal, that's back. Bring it back to the hood. I'm doing all that I could. Not trying to be good. All I'm trying to be is not misunderstood. Started my life on that hardwood. Moved that rock like a drug dealer could. But I never sold drugs and I always got love. Played that D just like I'm the glove. But the glove didn't fit. So I had to get. Yeah, I had to split. Had to find my gift. Fast forward this. Now I'm the gift. Who was the gift? The gift is this. Dude went all got a chance for today. Real serious. Don't like to play, but let me rethink. Play is good. Play I should. Play I would. If my business was straight, then i make a date. But until then, gotta make a plate. I can't be late. I got to be great. Yes, sir. And with that, I want to say good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is K. Jamal Jones. This is Row TRS. Row TRS, which is short for Rock Out with the Rock Stars. This is episode seven. And today's topic is bring it to the world. Bring it to the world. Uh, right now, I'm going through a very, very difficult time, to be honest. Uh, my mom, is, is her health is not doing well. And, um, you know, there's some things going on that, you know, have changed a lot. And all I can think about is the fact that, you know, you only get one mother, right? So you can have a lot of friends, you know, you can have multiple cousins, brothers, sisters, you know, um, family members in your life, but you only get one mom. And the reason why is because there's only one person that can literally carry you into this world, right? So for me, uh, I was born to a teen mom, 17 years old, um, you know, and she was scared to death, I'm sure, you know, but she did the best she could with what she had. And because she brought me into this world, now her responsibility was to make sure that she took care of me, right? And she couldn't always provide financially or materially, but she was always there when she needed to be there. You know what I'm saying? When I needed her for anything, she was always there. Even if that meant just being uh, a still spirit, a still strong voice, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? I know I could depend on my mom, right? So today, as we talk about uh, bringing it to the world... Um, I always use illustrations to connect what the topic and message is about. So we have gifts, talents, and abilities inside of us that we have to bring to the world. If we don't bring it to the world, then guess what? The world will never have an opportunity to know how great you are, right? The world will never have an opportunity to know what type of gifts, talents, abilities you're working with. You know what I'm saying? The world will never know where that cure for cancer is going to come from. Because the reality of it is, is that everything that we need, I believe, is already here. You know, we don't have to go other places to search for what we need. We, we already have it here. But the only way it's going to come out is if men, women, and children that have ideas, that have gifts, that have talents, that have abilities are tapping into what they already have inside of them, right? Allowing what's inside of them to conceive, not only conceive, but have a process of growth and development like pregnancy. And then from that pregnancy, you give birth to whatever it is you're trying to bring to the world. And yes, when you're trying to give birth, when you're trying to bring something to the world, as you get closer and closer, and I don't know this from personal experience, but I know this from being a husband and, 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 and being a dad watching this process. There's a level of um, being tired as you get closer and closer, you know, to this great day of birth that's going to come about, you know. And then even as you go through the process of going through labor, there's some labor pains that you have to go through. And... There's some uncomfortable positions and situations that you'll be in as you're bringing life into the world. So now, if that's the case, when we're talking about bringing physical human life into this world, 
Why wouldn't it be the case when you're trying to bring your gifts, talents, and abilities to the world? See, the reality of it is that even though nobody has seen what it is you have to offer, the reason why they haven't seen it is because you haven't given birth to it. As a matter of fact, not only did you not give birth to it, but you won't even, you know, give yourself an opportunity to conceive that which is already in you. You know, so the reality of it is, is that we all have something that we have to bring to the world. You know, some of us, we have one great gift, talent, and ability that we bring to the world. Some of us are blessed with multiple gift, talents, and abilities that we have to bring to the world. But before it's all said and done, before you leave this earth, you have to bring something to this world. You have to bring it to the world. And when you're bringing it to the world, you're not bringing it to the world to stick your chest out and say, look, I brought this to the world. You're bringing it to the world because it is your contribution to what's going on here in society. Who knows what gift, talent, and ability you have that can be used for greater good, not just for yourself, but for the whole entire planet. You know what I'm saying? That's how serious this is. So now when you see me on here, uh, you know, speaking, communicating, doing spoken word, rap, whatever you want to call it. Like I said before, labels don't matter to me. The only reason why I'm doing this is because I can do it. I'm not doing it to try to get on. I'm not doing it to try to, um, you know, just just be um, caught up in myself. I'm doing this because I can do it, and I'm doing it because somebody's being affected by it, and I'm doing it because this is another thing that I'm able to do. So why am I going to sit there and hold it to myself? So then my challenge to you is, wherever you are, wherever you sit right now, what do you have inside of you that needs to be conceived, that needs to go through an incubation period, that needs to go through labor, that needs to be delivered so that it can be brought to the world? I can't answer that question for you. Only you know what that is and only you know, um, you know how long that process is going to take. But my challenge to you is, is that you find out what it is and that you do whatever you need to do to make sure you're making a great contribution to this world. We need you. We need every gift, talent, and ability that you have. The scripture tells us that we are all fearfully and wonderfully made. So this nonsense about, oh, there's some people that are just geniuses. There's some people that are just better than others. It's all ridiculous. All of us have the ability to do great things here on this earth. And the reality of it is until you bring it to the world... The earth is going to remain the same, waiting for you to give a positive contribution. So with that being said, i like to say thank you to everyone who subscribes to our YouTube page, Kenyon Jones Presents. Um, I want to just leave this with you to make sure uh, that you always rock out with the rock stars. Thank you for watching, and God bless.